In this video, we will go over how to add content to your Google site. So we're going to open up our Google site that we've been working with in this series of videos. We've already added pages to it. So now we're going to work in this insert tab. You can insert text boxes, images, you can embed code, or you can add anything from your Google Drive. So down below, there's a list of all sorts of things that you can insert directly, like a table of contents, an image carousel, buttons, dividers, YouTube, calendars, maps, and then any type of Google document. And as you scroll up, there's this great feature that are pre-made layouts. And these are wonderful templates that really help create polished websites. And so we're gonna go to a website and then click on one of these templates. And there's nice plus signs for any of the content that bring up this menu where you can insert directly from your drive or upload um, things. And so we're gonna find our nice um, image that we've been using as our logo. And so we're gonna insert that and it'll put it in directly in that size, but you can click that uncrop button to make it so that it fits um, fully. And then we're gonna work within that template and um, just type in some um, pieces here. And you can see there's that menu that shows up at the top. Um, and then there's a floating menu over on the left side where you can delete, duplicate, or change the emphasis colors. And they fit with the theme that you chose at the beginning. And so the options are limited. Um, you can pick a background image if you would like. Um, and then you see that menu up there. You can change the text type. Um, and things like that, you can add in a link. And then you can um, move things around. Remember, you can drag and drop anything once they're in there. And you can always click that nice undo button up at the top and put things back the way uh, they were. And so you can keep adding layouts. You can add as many layouts as you want to a page. You don't have to just stick with one layout per page. And then you can add a divider, you can divide up your layouts um, or just stick a divider down at the bottom. And so we're gonna choose a different layout to show you what that looks like. Um, you can insert any type of uh, document or image or anything from um, your drive or from the internet into these slots where there's that plus sign. So we added a Google Doc and now we're gonna click on this plus and actually add a YouTube video. And so you can search for YouTube videos or you can choose from the videos that you have uploaded in your uh, account. And then we are also going to pick a different type of Google um, document, a slideshow. So we've got a doc, a YouTube video, and a Google Slides uh, presentation here. And you'll see that they all fit perfectly in those pieces uh, because we use that layout. And then you can see um, we just quickly filled in uh, the text boxes as well. So the layouts are great because they are automatically sized for uh, that section in your website. So they make things look really nice and polished and put together. So the next thing you can do uh, that's really nice to insert a content is you can add a calendar to your website. This is really helpful uh, if you keep a class calendar or a Google Classroom calendar. So if you click insert calendar, it will bring up all the calendars that you have. You can choose the right one. So make sure it's not your personal calendar. Then you will probably want to click on that settings button and change it to month view or week view. It automatically puts it in agenda view. So you will want to click on that settings icon and change it. You can change any of the other settings as well. And then you've got your calendar embedded um, in your class website, which is really helpful um, for a lot of different reasons, of course. And then you can uh, insert directly into there without using a layout as well. And you can resize by dragging the corners. So I've inserted a YouTube video. You can do this with Google Docs or slides. And then you can drag and drop it. There's those nice helpful guide edges to let you know um, when you're in the center. And so you can do that with anything from your drive or from YouTube or your calendar, of course, or a map. Uh, you can also insert a text box. And then you can drag that around and it will adjust the other pieces that are nearby. As you move it, uh, the blue uh, line or box will show where it is going to land. And then you can drag the edges to fill in any of the pieces. So we're gonna put a title here at the top. Check out our class 
website. We're in the center of that. So you can move those text boxes around as well. So it's all drag and drop. And then you can insert anything from this insert tab. So we highly recommend using those layouts because they size everything nicely and they make things look nice and polished. Um, but you can also just insert uh, anything directly from your drive. It's really great because it talks to your drive and you can insert what you need. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel and check out the next video in our playlist.